to bring communities together. Um, one way is through like giving voice to the community like um, of a people that maybe isn't isn't always spoken aloud as much as it should be. Um, or like present people don't hear the voice of those people so well so a musician can really bring their issues to light through music and it reach, reaches a wider audience. I also think that music is universal and like it has a power in that because people can be from different backgrounds and different cultures, um, just different regions, uh, different races, and they can have similar taste in music and find a common bond to that. My favorite musical movie um, since I was growing up was has always been West Side Story. Uh, I saw it when I was young, and then I saw the play, and it was just one of the first musicals where I like had felt a connection to because it was concerned immigrants and like the Im the immigrant um, experience in America. And I like I didn't really understand that when I was younger, but I felt like it was different from all the other musicals I'd seen. It wasn't like sound of music, like but it, like only one homogeneous like family, you know. So West Side Story was um, affected me through through those different identities that were presented in the film, I guess. Music can play a large role, I think, in like um, uniting Filipino Americans, I feel like. So take, for example, Filipino American Student Association. Association sorry. Um, we do a lot of dances to traditional music, and I find that for me and for the others that it connects them to something they didn't really get to grow up with, grow up with like in the Philippines, but they feel connected to it because of their parents, because of their family. So it kind of brings that out in them, and being able to hear that music, dance to it, it's kind of like it brings the community together. Music is you know, a pleasure to everybody. You sing, you dance, you dance, you sing. If you don't know how to sing, you can dance. Like me, I don't sing, but I can dance. In the Filipino community, you know, we, we have a lot of different kinds of uh, dances. You know, the folk dances. We have uh, this Filipino community here in uh, Newport News, Williamsburg, uh, Hampton. We call it the uh, Philippine American Community of the Peninsula. And I'm so very active. Uh, I'm a member since 1978, and my kids. I have three kids, two boys and a girl. They dance. Then we, you know, we um, have almost all the um, uh, time that uh, we have a party or community party. We're there, Christmas party, all the um, how you call it, the uh, Filipino, uh, Filipiniana. We're always there me and my husband and my kids when they're growing up. So I really enjoy it, you know, being Filipino, with the Filipino music, and everybody wants to listen to a Filipino music. There's no place to like home, Philippines. FASA. FASA stands for the Filipino American Student Association, which has been running since 1991. 
It's an organization not only for Filipinos, but non-Filipinos to come together and celebrate Filipino-American culture. As Culture Night co-chairs, we write a script every year for Culture Night, our biggest event of the year. We incorporate Filipino dances as well as Filipino-American identity themes, which we'd like to present to our greater community on campus. This year's performance was about exploring interpersonal relationships and how to communicate with someone and get to know them before dismissing them as a potential friend. Filipino culture has a lot of traditional dances, so every year we try to choose a few that haven't been showcased in the recent years. So in this year's performance, we incorporated a lot of dances. We had about five in total. We had our modern dances, our opening act, and then we had the Binusan, which is a traditional Filipino dance incorporating the use of water glasses. And we have them balanced on each hand and on top of our head. And the dance involves just moving them around without spilling them. So it's, it's very much involved in balancing skills. <laughs> the next dance in our performance was the Kapan Malang Malang, which is a traditional Muslim Filipino dance. But we re-choreographed it with a modern twist. The malang is a tube of fabric, which the dance showcases the many different ways it can be worn. The next dance is the Pasiguin. Pasiguin literally means fishnet. This dance depicts the fisherman trying to make a catch, but in the end there's a big hole in the net, so they don't catch anything. Our final performance is the Sinko, another traditional Filipino dance. It is by far the most intense dance that we've had to do. We make our own music using tinikling sticks, a gong, and a drum. The story is about a prince and a princess. The princess, lost in the woods, followed by her attendant, is searching around, trying to dodge bamboo that's falling everywhere, the tinikling sticks. The prince has to later come and rescue her. In this play, we really wanted to tie in traditional Filipino music and also modern. And part of the Filipino-American culture is that we're very into hip-hop. So we tried to use a good combination of both in our transition songs and our dances. Culture Night is an opportunity for students and those in the community who have not grown up in the Philippines to experience Filipino culture through music, dance, and performance. It's a tribe choice! Paalam! Minsan madana mamong kaibigan Nang problema Minsan mahihirapan Kyan masasabing Di ko na kaya Tumingin ka lang sa langit Baka sakaling May masumpugan Oh, they care, I'll